Hi, everyone. I want to thank you for praying for whether we should delay or possibly even cancel this training in Haiti in February. And I'm happy to tell you that we are going forward with the training. I leave in just a few hours for Haiti. I'm very, very excited about that. I was crying out to the Lord uh, yesterday, the day before, and and asking the Lord if he would open the way for us to go. It's not only that the pastors are eager for the training and that they need the training that we're providing, this foundational ministries training in, in all six of our courses, but I think especially now and in these past few years in Haiti with the significant uh, pressures and economic distress that the, that they're facing, that we just need to be there. We just need to mutually encourage one another in the faith, as the apostle says in Romans chapter 1. For Haitian church leaders to know that we as American churches, as American believers, are praying for them, we're thinking about them, and we're sending people to be with them and love them and encourage them in the Lord and in God's word. It just means everything to them, I can tell you. So thank you so much. You'll hear from me along the way. Continue to pray. Things can change quickly in Haiti, and we have a plan A and a plan B and a plan C, actually, too, uh, depending, depending how these two weeks go. But we're trusting the Lord to protect us, to open the way, and to allow us to put arms around church leaders in Haiti, open God's word together, and give good training and encouragement to them as they go forward with their churches and in their communities. Uh, these churches are helping so many in their own neighborhoods and communities, especially now. You continue to pray for us, and you'll hear from us along the way. God bless you.